Welcome back to a, another cold and rainy rant right here in my rant chair, smoking me a uh, lucky strike and getting ready to tell the world to eat my fucking shorts. So this will be a part two thing. In my last video that's uploading right now, uh, I, I discussed troop movements and precursor chemicals and why it's really not your concern. Uh, this, this will be a different one. Uh, why I believe total and complete grid down is bullshit and fear porn. And I'm going to tell you why. I, I have personal experience with this. My cousin works for the power company here. Uh, I'm not going to say which one. And I'm not going to say anything other than his name. His name is Larry. Uh, he's pretty high up in his position. He, uh, he builds transformers. And I actually, you know, hung out with him at work one day when I was in town. Dude's got it, arms as big as tree trunks. I mean, he is built like fucking an ape. He's my half-black cousin, you know, from my other side of the family. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he showed me what, how the, how the whole power system works, believe it or not, and... If there were some kind of an EMP event, right, you know, the thing that everybody gets so fucking worked up about, it's not going to destroy the entire grid. It's going to pop transformers and cook a few wires. And they keep so many of those extra transformers on hand that they could rebuild about 15 to 20 percent of our grid out of the national defense stockpile just instantly. Just get it turned right back on. So essential services and uh, factories and things like that could continue working. Now, am I saying you shouldn't be prepared? No, I'm absolutely saying you should be prepared. If you don't, you're a fucking idiot. But you got to remember something. Shit rolls downhill. <sighs> That's what my dad always taught me. Shit rolls downhill, right? If you look at the old Eisenhower defense plan, it's continuity of government, then continuity of the populace, okay? They're going to get what they need first. And we're going to be left with what's called second hind tit. So what happens is, let's say the whole grid pops at the same time. Oh no, oh my god. They they have already run models and simulations with what we have on hand right now in the United States, even post-shortage. It'd be 90 to 120 days before they get power fully restored to most of the United States. Now, a lot of people die because of that, because they're on oxygen machines, ventilators, they're infirmed, they can't handle the heat or the cold or whatever. I mean, the list goes on. But the fact is that EMPs are very misunderstood. They have a certain range, depending on if they're natural or man-made, and depending on what level of energy dissipated. I'm not a scientist, nor do I play one on fucking YouTube. But... <coughs> Like I said, if you look at the old civil defense plans, right, they told you exactly what they were going to do and how they were going to do it. This is back in the 50s and 60s. Okay? In the United States, our truck drivers, right, they are a lifeline to the United States. And the thing is, all of this stuff was designed for the Cold War, but about 95% of it has never been used for reasons due to the Cold War. It's been used for fires, floods, natural disasters, earthquakes, uh rebuilding after riots. I mean, the list goes on. <sighs> you know, as, as much as people like to fetishize being knocked back to the Stone Age, it's kind of a reality check that if they have enough transformers and extra wire to rebuild like 25% of the grid instantly after like a national disaster... You know, they probably have more stuff put back, too, on top of it. But that's, it's about the average of what they keep, like 15, 20, 25 percent. So the amount of preparation you take in your life should not be dependent on what Canadian prepper or a lot of these other fucking tools tell you. Because they make money off doing this. I, I get nothing out of this deal. I, I get to bitch at the internet every day and not smoke a cigarette by myself. And, and I've done a lot of homework and looking into this shit. And, I, and I've been doing the preparedness thing since before it was cool. I've been doing it since 
back in the 90s on the gun show circuit. Now, should you have a backup generator and all that shit? Absolutely. If you can fucking afford it and you feel a need for it, I say go out and get two of them. One to keep and one to put away for later. You know? But don't lose sleep over this shit. The worst disasters were never caused by some mass catastrophe. It's always been some local thing. Hell, a drunk driver could take out power to 50% of your local community just with one fucking turn of the wheel. You know? One time I was sitting out here smoking a cigarette and the fucking transformer blew up and fired this giant lightning bolt in there. You know? Bright light, flash, a little bit of shrapnel flying. I looked over the corner and there was a big old fucking zapping hole in the thing. And then we had no power. You know? Shit happens. It's going to happen in your daily life. The biggest thing is keep calm, don't panic, and fucking sort it out. As far as total grid down goes, it ain't gonna happen. It's, it's just fucking fetishized fear porn. That's all it is. But as always, if you disagree with me, leave it down in the comment section. If you like the video, like the video. And as always, if you don't like it, go make your own damn video. Have a wonderful day. Go fuck yourself. Bye and eat my shorts.